So, let us solve one more problem. Evaluate integral 0 to pi x sin x by 1 plus sin x dx. So, that means in order to solve this problem, so in this case also it had better to apply the property integral 0 to a f of x dx equals to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So, with the help of that property, this problem easily we can solve it. So, that means, so when you apply that one here, sometimes we have to recall even trigonometric formulae as well as indefinite integration. So, after performing, performing the indefinite integration, we have to apply the upper limit and lower limit so as to find out the definite integral value. So, that means first let us say, let us make use of that property. Let i equals to integral 0 to pi x sin x by 1 plus sin x dx using integral 0 to a f of x dx integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So, using this i can be written as integral 0 to pi pi minus x that means x is replaced by pi minus x here also x is replaced by pi minus x sin of pi minus x by 1 plus sin of pi minus x. So, this we have sin 180 degrees minus theta that is sin theta. So, we are familiar with this formula. Now, we can write this equals to integral 0 to pi pi minus x sin x by 1 plus sin x dx. Now, split. So, this can be written integral 0 to pi pi sin x by 1 plus sin x minus x sin x by 1 plus sin x dx. So, please do check. Is it correct? Yes. So, now pi is constant take common out integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus sin x dx and minus integral 0 to pi x sin x by 1 plus sin x dx. It is very interesting. Again the same problem will appear here. 0 to pi x sin x by 1 plus sin x dx. It is a very important step. So, now in the place of this one, can we substitute i? Yes, why not? So, let it be replaced by i. So, that is equal to, so i equals to pi times integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus sin x dx minus i. If you just transpose minus i to the left hand side that becomes plus i, i plus i is equal to 2i. Now, directly we can write 2i equals to pi times integral 0 to pi 
sin x by 1 plus sin x dx. Now, what is our aim? Our aim is to find out the i value. So, now what is the value of i? Do you expect it? Yes, i equals to pi by 2 times integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus sin x dx. Again here one more question will arise in our mind. How do we evaluate integral sin x by 1 plus sin x dx? Already in the previous problem we have evaluated integral 1 by 1 plus sin, sin x dx. So that means again we have to convert this sin x by 1 plus sin x as 1 by something plus 1 by 1 plus sin x dx so that we can find out. So that means so in sin x by 1 plus sin x means in the numerator add 1 subtract 1 so that this problem becomes the previous problem itself only. So let it be done. So now adding 1 and subtracting 1 in the numerator. So this can be written now pi by 2 integral 0 to pi. So 1 plus sin x minus 1 by 1 plus sin x dx. So can we write like this? So without loss of generality. So 1 1 gets cancelled, you get same thing itself only. So now 1 plus sin x by 1 plus sin x that is 1. So now this can be written, we can split 0 to pi 1 plus sin x by 1 plus sin x 1 minus 1 by 1 plus sin x dx. So now we get like this. Now, this can be written pi by 2 pi by 2 times integral 0 to pi dx minus integral 0 to pi 1 by 1 plus sin x dx. This is easily integrable, the value is x we can write, but this we have to multiply both numerator and denominator with 1 minus sin x that should be done here. Pi by 2 times this is here you write down x 0 to pi minus integral 0 to pi. So, this we can write 1 by 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x by 1 minus sin x dx dx. So, this so now substituting the limit here pi by 2 pi minus 0 this becomes integral 0 to 1 pi 1 minus sin x by can I write directly 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x is 1 minus sin square x and dx. Okay. Now, this equals to this equals to pi by 2 times pi minus integral 0 to pi 1 minus sin x by cos square x dx. 
now pi by 2 times pi minus this is 1 by cos square x 0 to pi secant square x dx and minus of minus plus integral 0 to pi sin x by cos square x already we have discussed in the previous problem first problem that is secant x tan x dx. So now so this is equal to pi by 2 times pi minus tan x limits 0 to pi. What is the integral of here secant x tan x dx that is secant x so plus secant x. So now limits are to be applied 0 to pi. So this is nothing but pi by 2 times pi minus tan pi minus tan 0 plus secant pi minus sec 0. Okay. Now pi by 2 times pi minus tan 180 0 tan 0 0 sec pi is minus 1 sec 0 is 1 but minus is there minus 1. So, this can be written pi by 2 pi minus 0 minus 2 this is pi by 2 into pi minus 2 this equals to pi square by 2 minus pi this is the value of i. Okay. 